New reports suggest Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle are looking to extend their royal exit deal, which comes up for review next year. Their current arrangement saw them step back as senior royals in March and move to California. The pandemic forced the entire royal family to remain apart this Christmas. Queen Elizabeth spent the holiday in Windsor for the first time in 32 years, where she praised the spirit of those challenged by the coronavirus. Charlie Daggett reports from London. In the darkest of times, this year's Queen's Christmas speech marks celebration tinged with sadness. Some mourning the loss of those dear to them, and others missing friends and family members distanced for safety. When all they would really want for Christmas is a simple hug or a squeeze of the hand. No hug, no squeeze of the hand for the Queen this year. Like many, a great-grandmother, Her Majesty has had to forego annual festive family gatherings. Aside from a socially distanced carol service on the grounds of Windsor Castle earlier this month, the 94-year-old monarch and her 99-year-old husband, Philip, are spending a quiet Christmas alone at the castle. Last year, the Queen described 2019 as quite bumpy. She had no idea what a tumultuous 2020 was about to bring. Before COVID came that January bombshell that shook the monarchy to its core, Prince Harry and Meghan stepping back from royal duties and leaving the country. Particularly this year, Prince Harry's absence has been felt, says royal correspondent Roya Nika. I think um, people miss him and people feel sad that you know, he wasn't here with the rest of the royal family during coronavirus. But at the same time, he's got that freedom that he, you know, he and Meghan so desperately wanted. The couple quickly dived into charity work, focusing on those impacted by the virus, a scourge that respected no royal exemption. Prince Charles tested positive in March. Prince William later admitted he caught it at around the same time. The Queen would have been extremely worried that but, you know, her next two direct heirs were both stricken down with COVID. It didn't stop William and Kate from joining the battle against the disease where they could, even taking a royal train tour to support health care workers. Even the Queen jumped in on Zoom calls to health care staff. I've been able to join you today. Having Harry around would have boosted morale. His absence felt most profoundly during Remembrance Day. The former soldier had wanted to take part, but was left out. And the rest of the royals are said to be unhappy about the lucrative deals he and Meghan have struck with Netflix and an upcoming podcast on Spotify. For now, there are more pressing matters than family feud. And the Queen's speech ended 2020 with a message of hope. Let the light of Christmas, the spirit of selflessness, love, and above all hope, guide us in the times ahead. Something the entire world needs now more than ever. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett, London. Long live the Queen. Love it. Yeah. She looks great. I mean, Doesn't she? 94 and her husband's 99. They, yeah, they are still, you know, doing, it. doing what they do. Exactly. Still Just like we are. Show. <laughs> doing what, what we do. <laughs> It's amazing, too, the amount of hope you get from hearing the words from the Queen. Like, Absolutely. People really look forward to hearing from her in so Absolutely. many instances.